My name is Taka Ito, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Atmospheric Science in Colorado State University. And I'm an oceanographer, and I study oceans and ocean circulation uh, for my research. So I put a lot of ice in the middle. I have these heat packs representing warmer subtropics. Essentially, we'll be seeing the circulation pattern coming out of temperature difference and... Uh... So the difference in temperatures is going to make the water want to move between the warm and the cold places. But as it's trying to do so in the spin tank, the rotation is going to complicate things. And so what we get... You can see there's a lot of uh, turbulent motion developing, bringing colder water outside and the warmer air inside and it creates fronts. Like look at this uh, region there. Then this simple system. The pattern that it makes is really beautiful and you see the, the red and blue swirls. So this one is going clockwise. You could see some swirl is going, for example, this one is going counterclockwise. And these are analogous to low pressure and high pressure system in the weather map. So in this simple system, which we can do on a tabletop, we can show how the difference in temperature between the poles and the equator plus the rotation of the planet leads to the complicated swirls that we see in our weather patterns on the globe.